Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to go over the vocabulary words and pictures for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 18 and the biography, My Name is Gabriella. So for this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. You're going to pair up with a partner at home or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share your thinking out loud in a complete sentence or sentences. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper or journal page. And you're going to divide the paper into three equal parts or thirds. One, two, three. Then you're going to write your numbers one to eight. And for each number, you're going to write the vocabulary word. In the second column, you're going to write the synonym. And the synonym is a word that means the same. For example, combine is a synonym for mix, or mix is a synonym for combine. They mean the same thing. If you don't catch that, you can always write the word a second time. And in the third column, I want you to draw a quick picture or sketch to help you remember the word. So here's our learning targets. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the text. My name is Gabriella. Our second learning target is I can talk about the vocabulary words and pictures. Test criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand the important words from my name is Gabriella? And how will you know you're successful about talking about the, these vocabulary words and pictures? Well, here are our steps to success. I will, number one, look closely at each group of pictures. Number two, I will say what I notice about the pictures. How are they the same or similar? Number three, I will read each word and its definition. Or I will write each word one to two times, a synonym, and draw a quick picture or sketch. So let's go over our turn and talk rules. Number one, eye to eye and knee to knee. If you have a partner at home, you face them when you are talking. You look at their face and listen to their words. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Number three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. But don't talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. I'm going to ask the same questions. What do you notice or see? And you're going to say, I notice, and tell me what you notice. I'm also going to say, how are they all the same or similar? And you're going to say, they all. And if you have a partner or if I'm your virtual partner, you can say, you can agree with me and say, I agree with you because, and tell me why, or disagree. I disagree with you because, and tell me why. First group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice. I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice one monkey is giving a, a girl monkey some flowers. In the second picture, it looks like a, a hand is holding up a gift. And in the third picture, I notice a boy is handing or giving a teacher or an adult an apple as a gift or present. So, how are these pictures the same or similar? They all? Well, they all show accepted, people accepting gifts, accepted. So, for number one, I want you to write accepted. The root word is accept. So, you can say accepted, accept, accepts, Accepting, the root word is accept. A-C-C-E-P-T and past tense is the E-D ending. Accepted, that means you already got it. You already accepted it. It happened in the past. 
A C C E P T E D. It has an E D ending. Accepted means something that's offered and taken. Received. Something that's offered and taken. Received. A synonym or word that means the same is received. You could say the student gave the teacher an apple. She accepted it. The student gave the teacher an apple. She accepted it. You could also replace accepted with received. The student gave the teacher an apple. She received it. That's a synonym. So first word, accepted. In the second column, you can write received, R-E-C-E-I-V-E-D. The root word is receive, and then it has the E-D ending, received, past tense. Think about it. What have you accepted? When have you accepted someone's help? And what did you need help with? You could also say, when have you received someone's help? And what did you need help with? Number two, what do you notice or see? I notice, I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a boy is talking about sad things and happy things. And then in the next picture, I notice a bunch of emojis with different emotions, happy, sad, embarrassed, surprised, worried, excited, angry. In the next picture, I notice a bunch of different people and they're all talking about different types of emotions from happy to sad to angry. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show express, and I'll explain that. So write express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, -S, express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, -S, express. Express means to say, write, or draw what you're feeling or thinking. Express means to say, write, or draw what you're feeling or thinking, express. A synonym or a word that means the same could be say or write. When you express something, you can say or write it. You can also draw it, but it has to do with how you're feeling or thinking. You can express your ideas by writing a story. You can express your ideas by writing a story. You can also say you can say your ideas by writing a story, or you can write your ideas by writing a story. Think about it. If a kangaroo hopped into the classroom, how might you express your surprise? Or you could say, if a kangaroo hopped into the classroom, how might you say your surprise, write your surprise, or draw your surprise? How would you show what you're thinking or feeling? So number two is express. A synonym is say or write. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a bunch of kids at swimming lessons. In the second picture, I notice children at a table. It looks like a classroom with their teacher. In the third picture, I notice a bunch of kids listening to a story, maybe writ read by a teacher. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show taught. 
which is the past tense of teach, taught. So for number three, I want you to write taught, T-A-U-G-H-T, taught, T-A-U-G-H-T, taught. Taught means showed or instructed what to do. Showed or instructed what to do. And again, taught is the past tense for teach. Taught, showed or instructed what to do. A synonym could be instructed. To instruct means to teach. And instructed is the past tense of teach or taught. So write taught. The synonym is instructed. This teacher taught his class a new word. This teacher taught his class a new word. That means he already, he already did it. It's past tense of teach. So this teacher taught his class a new word and the new word is express in the picture. So you could also say this teacher instructed his class, instructed his class a new word. Instructed. Taught and instructed are similar in meaning. So think about it. What have you taught someone else to do? What have you taught someone else to do? Or what have you instructed someone else to do? Or showed someone else to do? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice Mickey Mouse. He looks like he's really happy. In the second picture, I notice a fantastic display of fireworks. In the third picture, I notice someone again is happy and giving a thumbs up. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all? Well, they all show grand, and I'll explain what that means. Grand, G-R-A-N-D, grand, G-R-A-N-D, grand. Grand means special or important, special or important, grand. So a synonym could be special. So write grand for number four. In the next column, you can write special. A grand award is a top prize in a contest. A grand award is a top prize in a contest. You could also say a special award is a top prize in a contest. Think about it. What is grand about the Grand Canyon? What is grand about the Grand Canyon? You could also say, what is special or important about the Grand Canyon? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a boy is dressed like a doctor and he's pretending to tend to his patient, the teddy bear, by wrapping up his, his, um, his, uh, his, uh, whatever is wrong with him. He looks like he might have a hurt foot. Um, and in the second picture, I notice Two kids are pretending to be different animals. And in the third picture, I notice a boy or girl is in a cardboard box that looks like an airplane. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all?
Well, if you've already seen this, they all show pretend. Pretend. P-R-E-T-E-N-D. Pretend. Pretend. Pretend means to imagine, make believe. To imagine, make believe. So, a synonym or word that means the same is imagine. The girl is not a real doctor. She is a pretend doctor. The girl is not a real doctor. She is a pretend doctor. So you could also say the girl is not a real doctor. She is pretending or she is imagining that she is a doctor or she is a make-believe doctor. It's all in her imagination. Imagine. So think about it. If you were to have a pretend pet or make-believe imaginary pet, what would it be? Next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice an award or trophy. In the next picture, I notice a first place ribbon and some prizes. In the third picture, I notice a blue ribbon. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show prize, a prize, P-R-I-Z-E, prize, P-R-I-Z-E, prize, an award for winning or doing well. A prize is an award for winning or doing well. So a synonym or word that means the same is award. So you can write Prize in the first column, an award in the second column. An award is spelled A-W-A-R-D, award. The best speller received first prize in the spelling bee. The best speller received first prize in the spelling bee. You could also say the best speller were, received an award for first prize or received a first award in the spelling bee. Think about it. Have you won a prize that you're very proud of? What did you win it for? Or you could say, have you won an award that you are very proud of? What did you win it for? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a man is thinking. In the next picture, it looks like the emoji is scratching his or her head, thinking about something, wondering. In the third picture, I notice a boy has some questions and maybe thinking or wondering. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show wonder, W-O-N-D-E-R, wonder, W-O-N-D-E-R, wonder. To wonder means to guess to understand something. To wonder means to guess to understand something. So a synonym could be guess. So make sure you write wonder. And in the next column, a synonym is guess, G-U-E-S-S, -S, guess. The children wonder when the caterpillar will become a butterfly. The children wonder when the caterpillar will become a butterfly. Or the children are guessing when the caterpillar or will guess when the caterpillar will become a butterfly. Think about it. What did you once wonder about that you understand now? 
You could also say, what did you once guess or think about when, that you understand now? Last group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a butterfly that's flying a different flight path. In the next picture, I notice three birds that look like they just got released from a cage and they're flying. And in the third picture, I notice a hummingbird with their wings flapping very quickly. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show fluttering. So the root word is flutter, to flutter, fluttering, F-L-U-T-T-E-R-I-N-G, fluttering, F-L-U-T-T-E-R-I-N-G, fluttering. Fluttering means small, quick movements, flapping. Small, quick movements, Flapping. Fluttering means small, quick movements. Flapping. A synonym or word that means the same is flapping. F-L-A-P-P-I-N-G. Flapping. The butterfly is fluttering its wings as it flies. The wings move quickly. The butterfly is fluttering its wings as it flies. The wings move quickly. You could also say the butterfly is flapping its wings as it flies. The wings move quickly. Think about it. What different things could be fluttering across a field in the distance? What different things could be fluttering across the field, a field in the distance? Or you could say, what different things could be flapping across a field in the distance? You can flutter your wings, you can flap your wings. Fluttering and flapping. All right, let's review our words. Make sure you have them spelled correctly. Number one, accepted. Something that's offered and taken. And I highlighted the synonym received in yellow. So the synonym or short definition, I highlighted in yellow, accepted. Another word for accepted is received. Number two, express. Express means to say, write, or draw what you're feeling or thinking, express. So again, I highlighted say, write, or draw. Number three, taught. The past tense for teach, showed or instructed what to do, taught. Another word for taught is instructed that's highlighted in yellow. Grand, special or important. Grand, special or important. And I highlighted the word special. Number five, pretend to imagine, make believe. And I highlighted the synonym imagine, which comes from imaginary or imagination. Use your imagination to imagine. Number six, prize, award for winning or doing well. Prize, award for winning or doing well. And another word for prize is award. Wonder means guess or understand, guess to understand something. Wonder. Guess to understand something, and I highlighted the word guess. Number eight, fluttering, small, quick movements, flapping. Small, quick movements, flapping, fluttering. And another word for fluttering could be flapping. All right, at the top of your pic page, I want you to reflect on your learning. 
I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the text, my name is Gabriella. Could you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said what I noticed about each group of pictures and how they were the same. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to say what I noticed about most of the pictures and how they were the same. Or would you give yourself a two? I was able to say what I noticed about some of the pictures and how they were the same. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to say what I noticed about any of the pictures or how they were the same. So write your reflection at the top of the paper, four, three, two, or one. So thank you boys and girls for writing your words, writing the synonym, and drawing a quick picture or sketch. Have a great day.